I'm just taping this because what I've done is first time I've actually used one of these devices and the uh, the slope is really quite poor um, you can't see it but basically it's it's, five, it's 50 microseconds the switching time which is rubbish but that's only probably because I'm using a, a resistor for turning off which is what I'm talking about this turn off time it is the problem and so we've got this little uh, motor which uh, <coughs> oh, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so yeah, uh, it is turning. Oh, you can see it from this. Okay, anyway, so it's turning, and what I'm doing is I've just simply adapted a, just a, a real hack of a PWM. I've hacked the electronics as well to put this in, and I've hacked the software so that we can see it working. If I can just, there you go. You can see that it's actually rotating. Okay, if I turn. So that's a 16% mark. Are we going to show it? Yeah, 16% mark, and obviously that's not enough to. There's not enough torque there. So if I now, there you go. I'll do it with a. Uh, so what we're doing is subtracting 10. So that's about a 50, That's 48% mark. Hey. Uh, there we go. Now that's an 87% mark. Doesn't see what the frequency is. Can we get more of a bonus? No, I don't know. It's not showing a frequency. So that's showing us now. Okay, and that's an 87% mark. And we're running on 12 volts. So that's whatever, 87% of 12 volts. Okay. So that's going to be about like, I don't know, 11. <laughs> okay. And. You may be able to hear it better than see it. There we go. So, it doesn't mind being at about 18. Now I can increase the mark now. Now if I increase the mark, and you may hear it, at some point that's 99%. So we're, at, we're really at full 12 volts version. And I've got a mark of 16... K and a space of eight, so it, it's probably possible to hear it. But so um, that's obviously running on a PWM. If I bring the mark down, at least so it makes it so it's quicker to control. Ninety-six, ninety-three. <coughs> okay, so now I can start. If I bring the space up. Space of 36, so that's 78 percent. That's 64 percent. 47, 30, 18, and it stopped. Okay. See, running. Now, obviously, in reality, what we'd do, oh, it's still just turning. Is um, there you go. It's turning slowly. In reality, we'd use these controls, but because I've blown my Arduino, I can't use them. So I'm using the keyboard just to sort of simulate a change. But then, what we can do now, it's actually getting quite warm, is that, because of the switch off times. Anyway, so what we can do now is, I mean, it's not warm, it's just warm to the touch, so we're talking, what, maybe, I, I wouldn't say more than 40 degrees, the uh, connections. What I've done is I've bolted it in. I've removed the gate connection from one of the uh, one of the uh, MOSFETs and just simply used it to gate this, and then I mounted the motor in across that power pack. So it's working, obviously. I mean, this is so that we can redo the uh, uh, motor, the milk float motor. Obviously, this is a much smaller version of the milk float motor, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, it demonstrates the PWM. And if I can create a PWM circuit, which I'll probably just simply create. Um, but using the electronics from the field controller, then I've got PWM on the motor. We can have proportional control. Yeah. Yeah. Which should be nice. But we have to get that switching time down, because it's rubbish. <coughs> okay. There we go. End of day.